All right, Super Bowl 54 coming at us from Miami on Sunday night. The Kansas City Chiefs, the San Francisco 49ers, it's lining up to what looks like will be a fantastic football game. But even if it isn't, that's okay because we have prop bets, baby. Tons and tons of ridiculous, crazy, absolutely irresponsible prop bets. And we're going to take a look at some of the best ones right now. If you want to bet on Super Bowl 54, or bet on some props, you can head over to CrossingBroad.com. We have promos for all of the best legal online sports books in your state. Also, be sure to check out DraftKings Sportsbook, CrossingBroad.com slash DK, up to $1,000 in free bets ahead of this football game. And also, plus 300 odds on either the Chiefs or 49ers to win the game outright. Without further ado, let's hop into this and take a look at some of the top prop plays available to us. I love the coin toss. Every year I am all about the coin toss and I believe that I have dug deep and I have found a winning formula for this year's coin toss. Why bet on the coin toss when there are so many other more scientific, more detailed, rational plays that you could make? Because it's one of the first things that happens. Throw 25, 30 bucks on the coin toss, build the bankroll, and crush it the rest of the night. Set the tone early by being the only person in the room screaming at the television during the coin toss. I know that I will be. Heads or tails, minus 103 on both sides. So you have to pay a little juice on both sides here, you know, gotta make sure the books get theirs. All time, tails is 28 and 25 in the Super Bowl coin toss, 52.8%. So yeah, close to a 50-50 proposition, but not quite. Lately, tails has been red hot. It won last year. It is on a five and one run. That's outrageous, all right? So if you're a law of averages guy, maybe tails run will be coming to an end. Also know that the winner of the toss has won only 24 of the 53 Super Bowls and hasn't won in five years in a row, which is the longest streak in Super Bowl history. So I have two plays that I'm going to make on the coin toss in this football game. The first, I'm going heads. I think the tails luck runs out this year. The other play that I like is the Chiefs to win the coin toss and the Chiefs to win the football game. And that pays out plus 255 at DraftKings Sportsbook. So forget laying one and a half points, forget you know even return on your money or laying 110 to win 100. Go get paid. Take the Chiefs to win the toss, take the Chiefs to win the game plus 255 and put to bed this streak of five straight seasons in which the team that has won the toss has gone on to lose. I think that comes to an end this year. All right, listen, I just told you I am a coin toss guy, but admittedly I'm probably the only coin toss guy. However, every year at the Super Bowl, you go to a Super Bowl party, you got a couple people in the room, they get the stopwatch out on their cell phones, and the national anthem starts, and they're timing that thing. And I like to bet on the national anthem, the length of the national anthem. This year's performer, Demi Lovato, she was out of the spotlight for a couple years, but she is back, and she's got the big stage ahead of Super Bowl 54. Something to know, the over-under being set at two minutes, she averages one minute and 57 seconds. Right now, you can go on YouTube and check out her four previous national anthem performances going all the way back to 2008. The average time, three seconds short of our two minute over under that is set for this performance. Now, Lovato's most recent national anthem performance hit two minutes and 11 seconds at the Mayweather-McGregor fight in August of 2017, which is the last time that she performed in front of a public audience. She was at 158 or under the other three times she performed on the big stage, so if you go with history and what she's done more frequently, the under is the right play. If you go with the more recent performance, she went way over. Also consider that seven of the last 11 female vocalists to perform the national anthem at the Super Bowl have gone over the total. I think that she's coming back into the public forum here for the first time in a while, and she's gonna crush it. I expect her to go over the total of two minutes. And by the way, here's a bonus pick, and I feel strongly about this one. Why move on from the national anthem at the end of the song? You can take this national anthem prop and play it throughout the night. 
Here's a bonus pick, scoring drive to take less time than the anthem length. Yes, minus 200. That means Demi Lovato sings it, let's just say two minutes for point of reference. Will there be a scoring drive that is under two minutes in length? I think so. Between the Chiefs explosive offense, 49ers propensity to create turnovers, there could be big plays all over the field, drives with under two minutes to go at the end of the first half, end of the game. I, I believe that this is money. I think that this may be the safest bet of the night. I am taking a scoring drive to take less time than the anthem length. Minus 200, I will lay it. All right, the Super Bowl 54 halftime show. We have Jennifer Lopez. We have Shakira. We'll probably have some special guests that we don't even know about yet. You can bet on the Super Bowl halftime show. Prop that we're taking a look at here is which Jennifer Lopez song will we hear first? I don't know about you, but I celebrate the entire J-Lo catalog. Her music speaks to me. Listen, Let's Get Loud plus 300 is the leader. I believe that this is the most likely song that we will hear, so I understand why it is the favorite right now, plus 300. She is by herself in this song, whereas on the floor, up tempo, song bumps a little bit, but it has Pitbull. I don't think that they're going to have Pitbull on stage at the start of the performance. Same thing, Get Right, again, this is a situation, she's by herself, up-tempo song, could be Get Right if you're looking to cash at plus 1,000. I don't think it's going to be Jenny from the Block, that's kind of a little bit too old school. I think we're going to get something a little bit more recent, maybe in the last 10 years or so. Me personally, I'm going to be a sucker. I'll be a square here. I'm going to take Let's Get Loud to start the performance. It'll be the first Jennifer Lopez song we hear. And a bonus play down low. Pitbull to make an appearance on stage. He's Mr. 305. Minus 700. It's the best $700 I'll ever spend. I'm loading up my DraftKings Sportsbook account, and I'm putting $700 on Pitbull to make an, make an appearance. I'm not. I'm really not going to do that. But it's good value. It's good value. All right, so the last ridiculous prop bet that we are going to look at is the color of the Gatorade or water that is dumped on the game's winning head coach. So let's take a look at the board up here. Some books have lime green or yellow as the favorite. Uh, DraftKings has recently posted odds on the Gatorade color, and red is the favorite. Uh, so let's work through this a little bit. My supposition is going to be that we will see yellow. Why yellow? Where are you getting yellow from? And why not red? It's the color of the 49ers. It's the color of the Chiefs. I actually like yellow as a contrast color. I think red on red is just a little bit too much. So honestly, I think I can just see it. I see Andy going to midfield to do his handshake with Kyle Shanahan. But before he does that, you're going to see the yellow Gatorade cascade down Big Red's face. It's going to bathe him, wash away his poor clock management sins of years past. So I think that we're going to see yellow Gatorade. We have it at plus 275 here. Whatever your sports book is offering it at, that's what I suggest you take. Don't take the favorite. Don't be a square. Pass on red. Go lime green and or yellow at plus 275. All right, so forget the game. Forget the point totals. Forget all the player props. You want to make money. Betting on Super Bowl 54, just remember, coin toss, heads, Jennifer Lopez, let's get loud, over two minutes in the Demi Lovato National Anthem, and of course, my favorite, yellow, cascading down Andy Reid's large, large body. Those are your four plays to be successful in Super Bowl 54. Again, crossingbroad.com slash DK, DraftKings Sportsbook, up to $1,000 in free bets ahead of this football game. And hit it over to crossingbroad.com for all of the best legal online sportsbook promos.